Okay, chicos, we're going to start right now. Yes, uh. So everyone, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay, let me see. One moment, please. Okay, 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 okay. <coughs> there you go. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see, I'm just going to share my screen now. Voy a compartir mi pantalla ahorita. One moment. ¿Se ve? <laughs> No, teacher. Okay, 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 okay. One moment. Thanks, thanks, thanks. No. There you go, there you go, one more time. Okay, yes, there you go. Okay. One moment, please. Could you please start to read in this? Let me see, Anna. Um, in, in, in this section, uh, Participant will listen to a conversation between two people uh, deciding where to go for dinner. And please, please, can I come? Okay, I'm sorry. Were uh, were such as so to neither and either will be introduced. Excellent. Will be introduced. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now, first, let's going to pay attention to this one. Vamos a prestar atención a esto. Creo que no les compartí eso. One moment, please. May I stay? Let's pay attention to this. Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant this. near here. Hi, welcome to another section. This time, we will teach you words of agreements. Please copy the following words in your notes. So, to, neither, either. Listen and practice. 
Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Did you notice how they use tense? Please copy the following words. Neither, either. Okay. Listen and practice. We're going to start from Rosa. Rosa, could you please read? I'm sorry. Could you please read this one? Say. Rosa, there you go. Yes. Continue right here. Say, mm -hmm. would you? Would you like to go out mm -hmm. to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Continue, Where? Anita. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Continue, okay. Anita. Okay. Okay. Hey, yes. Uh, well, what do you think of India food? Okay, excellent. Michelle Munoz, go ahead. I love it, but I am not really in the mood for it today. Excellent. Lorena Peña? Nope. Lorena Peña es, pero no sé. Sí, Lorena Peña. No, microphone. The microphone. No tiene activado. No se preocupe. Tranquila, tranquila. Presta atención a la clase. Tranquila. Okay, Jenny. Jenny. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Okay. Now, go ahead. Continue, Jenny. Um, I start. Sí, ¿dónde nos quedamos? Where? Aquí, yeah. I love it. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm not either. I guess it I bit spe spicy. Excellent, Isabel. Mm, how do you like Japanese food? Excellent, Isabel Hernández. Oh, I like it a lot. Excellent, Tania Hernández. Uh, I do too, and I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Airoha. Excellent, yes, Lee. Oh, I'll be always wanted to go there. Excellent. Uh, okay, once again, Jenny. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, I always went. Wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go to repeat everyone, please. Would you like, repeat with me. Would you like? Would you like? like. Once again, would you like? Would, would you, you like? like? Okay. Tonight. 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 Dinner tonight. Dinner tonight. Dinner tonight. Dinner tonight. Okay. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? Indian food. Indian food. Indian food. Indian food. Indian food. Indian food. Okay. I'm not really in the mood. 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 Okay. I'm not either. I'm not, I'm, not either. Either. I'm not either. I'm not either. I'm not either. It's a bit spicy. It's, it's a, a bit, bit spicy. 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 So remember to do the S. Yes. Spicy. 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 Excellent. Japanese food. Japanese, Japanese food. food. Once again, Japanese food. Japanese, Japanese food. food. Okay. Japanese restaurant. Japanese, Japanese, Japanese restaurant. restaurant. Okay. I always wanted. 
I always, I always, always wanted. wanted. I always wanted. I always, always wanted. wanted. Excellent. Very good. There you go. Yes. Say, would you like to go out to dinner tonight? Sure. Where do you want to go? Well, what do you think of Indian food? I love it, but I'm not really in the mood for it today. Yeah, I'm not either, I guess. It's a bit spicy. Hmm. How do you like Japanese food? Oh, I like it a lot. I do too. And I know a nice Japanese restaurant near here. It's called Aroha. Oh, I've always wanted to go there. Terrific. Let's go. Did you notice how they use either and to in the dialogue? Excellent. Now what I want you to do is to practice the no. conversation with a friend. One moment, please. Could you please read this, Jenny? Jenny? Hey, me teacher. Could you please read this in this class? Okay. This class participants will understand the ops to so to mm -hmm. either. Creo que el internet está un poquito malo. Vamos a continuar con Isabel, Isabel, no se preocupe. Continue, Isabel. Okay. With these words, participants may express agreement and or disagreement. Okay, let's go into first to pronounce the word. Understand. 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 So, to neither, either. So, oh, to, neither, neither, neither. Once again, so, to, neither, either. So, so to, to, neither, neither, either. Okay, now, the next one, agreement. 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 There you go. Disagreement. 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 Now pay attention, guys. To do or to think about an agreement, para estar de acuerdo, do we need one, just one person or more than one person? Para estar en agreement or disagreement. We'll need more than one. Two persons. Yes, because one is talking, is expressing, una está hablando, es está expresando, and the other one, it is giving the expressions about if he's agree or disagree, okay? It could be about an action, si está de acuerdo o en desacuerdo, respecto a una acción o respecto a una opinión, okay? The thing here is que se está expresando una opinión de algo que se está diciendo. Es por ello que se tiene que tomar primero antes que nada un tema en específico, primero antes de hacerlo, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? No solo un tema en específico, sino que tiene que haber algo previo, un preámbulo para opinar. O decir, now let's going to continue with this one, please. So Crazy about dessert. One moment, so please. am I. Don't go as you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we walk you through the use of so, to, neither, either, and more examples. So, to, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. 
I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so. I do apologize. One moment, please. So, in short answers, to show we agree with, okay. with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Follow me. Okay, pay attention to that, guys. Subject, auxiliary, two. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So, auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your response. Okay, guys, I know that this sounds kind of confused. Sé que esto suena un poco confuso. But right now we are just going to pay attention and I'm going to explain step by step. Voy a explicar paso por paso, no se lo voy a dejar así. Now, pay attention once again. Either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. Now, if you pay attention here, first we have so, to, neither, and neither. I like. Guess like. What it's like. Es un auxiliar. Huh? It's a bird. Excellent. I like Japanese food a lot. Then it says here, so do I or I do to. It is talking and referring with a verb. Really, I don't like it very much. Okay, now it's talking about here. Está respondiendo en una manera larga. I am. ¿Qué es esto? I am crazy. ¿Qué está haciendo la am crazy? Está, uh, está hablando de un tiempo. Está describiendo. Está diciendo. ¿Qué está haciendo? La en primera persona. Uh -huh. I am crazy. ¿Y qué está haciendo? ¿Ah? ¿Cómo? Bien. Exactly. It is describing. It is using the verb to be. Okay. So pay attention to that. I am crazy. I am about this, sir. No vas a utilizar el so do I. It is so am I. Okay. Yes. Pay attention. El so va al final o al principio o al final. Al inicio. At, at the beginning. What about this one? Okay. The two, it comes at the end, right? Pay attention to the order. Presta atención al orden. So it, it starts like an auxiliary that it will be the verb to be. Yes. And it's describing. It is not talking about an action. Okay. I am crazy. Okay. I am in love. Estoy enamorada. 
Okay. So do I or so am I? I didn't set an action. I am in love. It means estoy. Yes. So, so am I or I am too, right? I can. It really is spicy food. Está utilizando un verbo. Que es un auxiliar, ¿verdad? So can I, como un auxiliar. Si se fijan, utilizó el do o el am. ¿Con qué iniciamos? Con el okay. can. Yes. Ok. Now, so can I or I can't do. I can't do. Ahora, ¿cuál es la diferencia between this one, I like Japanese, and this one, I can eat? Ok. Here, if you pay attention, I like, ¿sí? I like, quiere ser, ver, ser es un verbo, ¿sí o no? No es un auxiliar, ¿ok? Here, it is says, I can, can puede ser un verbo, or it could be also an auxiliary. So here will be, so can I, ¿ok? Or I can too. Now, what about the negatives? I don't. ¿Qué estamos utilizando que auxiliar? Is it the verb to be? Is it the verb can? Or is it the verb do? do. Excellent. Do. I do. don't do. like, okay? Y el neither, it is for negatives. It is starts with this one. Neither do, because it says don't. Neither do I, okay? Or I don't either, okay? It's talking about referring both is talking about negatives. Neither or either. Okay? A mí tampoco o tampoco a mí. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. ¿Quién estamos utilizando? Am, am. right? Now, neither am, am I or I'm not I'm either. Not. Okay? And we are using the am. Estamos utilizando el am. I can't. Estamos utilizando este, el can't. Por lo tanto, es el que vamos a ocupar. Yeah. Neither, y aquí no vamos a hacer can't I. ¿Por qué no vamos a hacer neither can I? Porque esta acción o esta palabra ya no las negó. ¿Ok? Neither can I. No vamos a decir neither can't I. Or here, aquí se utiliza el either. But the either comes at the end. I can't either. And it's talking about Yes, once again, can't. Fíjense en el orden. Now we're going to continue step by step. Hi. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So, really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither I am I. Is. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. I'll pay attention to this one. The use of to and so to. The use of to and so. Okay. I agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to sh In short answer, para respuestas cortas. Yes. Okay, so, do you remember about, se recuerdan de las oraciones largas? Okay. Uh, let me see. Would you like to go to eat tacos with me tonight? Es una oración larga. Se recuerdan que podemos sustituir todo el complemento with, a, with the auxiliar do? Okay, do you like, I mean, for example, do you like to eat tacos at La Calaca's restaurant on night? Yes, yes, yes. I do. Exactly. It is up to the, the, the all the sentence. The same here, it is for short answer. Now, it's two and so for long, for short answer. Let's continue. Shall we agree with something or someone? Agree. ¿Qué significa agree? Okay. Estar de acuerdo. De acuerdo. De acuerdo. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, 
I am hungry. I am too. Remember about that? I am. Okay. I am too. And it says comes at the end. Now. Or so am I. Yes. Both are affirmative. But so it comes at the beginning. You are not going to say am I so. No. You are not going to say am to I. Or to I am. Mm -mm. It comes at the end. Two comes at the end. Then al final. Two. So am I. I love apple pie. I love. Love is referring, yes, like a verb. Esto es un verbo de un auxiliar. Love. I love apple pies. I love to eat pizza. No, to eat pizza, no. Blah. I love to eat tacos. Yes. Now, I do too. Yes. Porque esto creo que no es una acción. I play basketball. I do too. Okay. I am tired. Estoy cansada. Voy a decir, I do too or am I too? I am too or I do too. I am tired. ¿Qué van a decir? I do too. I am too. ¿Por qué? I am too. ¿Por qué? Because you are telling with am. Y aparte de eso, además de eso, estoy describiendo, ¿verdad? Yes. Excellent. Uy. I, I do too. So do I. Ok. I can play chess. I can too. This also remember that it will be as an auxiliar. I can. And since we're starting with I can, I can too, yes, or so can I. Se van a preguntar cuál es la diferencia entonces eh, entre estas. One it is using the am, the other one it is using do, I'm sorry, it is using an action y es está utilizando este auxiliar. I can too. Sí, yo también puedo. Okay. So can I. The position of two. Position of two. How it comes here? Two is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. Two. The position of. I do two. I can two. Okay, I am two. So it's right at the beginning. Follow me again. So. Auxiliary plus subject. So can I, so do I, so am I. Yes, they don't have to subject, then comes the auxiliary, right? I'm sorry. Uh, first comes the, uh, uy, I'm sorry. Primero iba, ya viene la estructura. I'm sorry, I do apologize. But well, let's continue. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements. We when can... do we use neither and either? talking about or referring a disagreements, something that is negative, okay? Use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. Ustedes se preguntarán, pero ¿por qué anteriormente dijo que era afirmativo? Ok. Because here it says, I am not either. Ok. Y el otro empieza al principio. Neither am I. Ok. Pero se utiliza siempre para una oración que sea negativo. All of the sentence is talking about negatives. Ok. Now, you can use either at the end and you're going to use neither at the beginning. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. Once again, either comes at the end. Okay. Pero estamos hablando de oraciones negativas. And neither, okay, we're talking about um, negative, but it comes at the beginning. Yes. I can't swim. I can't. Now, pay attention to this one. 
si se fijaron cada una, aquí era I'm not y aparece como que fuera negativo y aquí suena como que fuera positiva porque no lo está negando. Mas, sin embargo, este neither ya aparece como fuera un negatorio. No es necesario neither am I not. No. I don't dance salsa. Pueden decir I don't either or neither do I. Pero teacher se supone que es negativo. Sí, pero ya inutilizó el neither. No es necesario que diga neither don't I. No, it's not. No, no, no. I can't swim. I can't either. Okay. Or neither can I. Okay. Aquí podría ser yo tampoco. Okay. O tampoco yo, ¿verdad? Tampoco yo o yo tampoco. Okay. Either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative aus Ok. ¿Cómo era con el neither? ¿Cuál era el positive auxiliary? ¿Se acuerdan? Neither can I. Yes. Or subject. Ok. It could be like, I can't either. Ok. Mm -hmm. I don't either. Ok. Recuerden que el either goes at the end and el neither comes at the beginning. Auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Both, ambos están refiriendo a negativo. No se enfoquen, pero se supone que aquí es positivo. Yes, guys, but the thing is que dice positive because it says neither do I. El do I se refirió al auxiliar positivo. Neither do I. Ok. The other one, I can't. Era porque es un auxiliar negativo. Either. Okay. Now let's go to pay attention once again. Notice, neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I now let's go to continue with the examples that I have for you. Okay, I was teaching to the Nordic group. Okay. For example, I want to eat tacos. Me too. I want to eat tacos too. It's just an example. But me too, it is a short sentence. Es para las puertas corta. Okay. I like to eat tacos. Yes. So am I. Or que sería aquí. So am I. Está correcto decir aquí. So am I. No, ¿verdad? Sería, so do I. ¿Alguien me puede decir por qué? Porque no pudo haber sido, so am I. Por el verbo like. Porque es, you don't porque use no the es... verb to be in the sentence. Excelente. Pero tampoco utilice el do aquí. Yes, but you, you know that when you, you we use another verb, uh, the auxiliary that, can, that we have to use is do. Excellent, Very good. Porque fue como un verbo excellent. Because you use a verb, utilizo un verbo. Excellent, Very good. So, no va a decir so am I. Mm -mm. Because it doesn't make sense. No tiene sentido, ¿verdad? Okay. Doesn't make sense. Okay. Now, what about if I say, I am a teacher? So do I or so am I? So am I. ¿Por qué? So am I. Because I'm a teacher. <laughs> Porque te dice, there to be, ¿verdad? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Very good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, affirmatives or negatives? 
ok, utilizamos, ok, el neither, ¿para qué lo utilizamos? Pues either. Para negar. Neither. Negatives. Excellent, excellent. Ok. Neither. We use auxiliar to be. También podemos utilizar el verb to be. Ok. Am is an are or was and were for the present. Esto depende de cómo lo van a utilizar. For example, le explicaba a uno y le recordaba to a one student porque me decía, teacher, pero no se puede utilizar el verb to be. Porque me preguntó. Y me dijo, aquí sería near a my me. Y le pregunté, ¿por qué? Me dijo, porque aquí dice algo como el tacos. No me acuerdo cuál fue la respuesta que dijo. Como el talent food. Expliqué nuevamente. Para que utilizamos el bird to be. Este debía ser con bird to be. Ok, con, con, con otra cosa que no fuera con el bird to be. Él lo había hecho con el bird to be. Entonces le dice, ¿cuándo se hace una acción? ¿O cuándo se hace el bird to be? It is talking in general for a description. Le explicaba a él que puede ser en general una descripción. I always tell that. Siempre lo hago así. ¿Por qué? Porque puede decir in different ways, like place, adjectives, age, weather, profession, status, religion, origin, entre otras. Porque se le había olvidado. I am at the restaurant. Hablando del lugar. I am. Ok. My sister is short. Adjetivo. Ok. Or am I, I am tall. Yo soy alta. Ok. Age. I am 32 years. Tengo 32 años. Ok. Weather. El clima. It is called at the pital. Al pital. En el pital. Ok. Profession. I am a teacher. Ok. Entonces, le hemos utilizado el verb to be. Status. Ok. Um, I am single. Estoy soltera. Religion. Uh, I am Catholic. Ok. Origin. I am from El Salvador. Ok. Emotional status. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I'm happy. El verb to be se ocupa para mucho, pero yo le digo como un macro. Es una descripción. Ok. Now. Based on this one, if I say I don't eat Italian food, yo no voy a decir neither am I. ¿Por qué no voy a decir neither am I? Because you use am. El verbo is. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Neither. Neither am I. So, Lorena says, solo me dio su respuesta, Lorena, en su forma de ver, porque utilizó el don't, el verbo is, y no utilizó el verbo is. Lorena, y en general, es más que todo por cómo se está ocupando el contexto. I don't eat. Okay. You are talking about an action. For example, do you like to come with me tonight to eat tacos? Yo no dije, eh, no necesito que me den una respuesta larga. Yes, I want to eat with you tonight to eat tacos. No, you could say, no, I don't. Yes, I do. Pudo haber dicho cualquiera de dos. Same here, okay? I'm not going to use am because here it was a verb, fue un verbo. Esta fue una extracción, okay? Mm -hmm. I don't eat. Italian food. Here, lo estoy rectificando y lo estoy negando. Neither do I. Pregunta ese momento. Oh, I don't either. Mm -hmm. I don't either. Preguntas. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Now, I am not at Italian, at the Italian restaurant. ¿Cómo sería? Neither do I. ¿Así está bien? No. ¿Cómo sería? Neither am I. Neither am I. Am I. 
And my. Either am I. Excellent. Puede darse otra. Mm -hmm. Neither am I. La otra puede decir eso. Me neither, right? Okay. Me neither. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, let's going to see. Me neither, aquí está. Okay. Now, let's going to continue. So, we have here different ways to use it. Se recuerdan que el simple past tiene diferentes maneras para utilizarlo. ¿Qué digo? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You were sleepy. <laughs> I know, I know, I do. Me either. No, a mí. No, how to say. I was busy yesterday. I am too. Me too, me too. <laughs> me too. There you go. I'm too, so am I. Okay, let me see. Ah, got it, got it, got it. Remember something? De donde sacan el past, el present y el más, por cierto. El verb to be, we have in the simple present, am, um, is, and are. In the past, we have was. Y hay más maneras de conjugarlo con el have, entre otros. Ok. So here I am a bit cold. ¿Qué estoy haciendo? ¿Estoy hablando de un verbo? No. ¿Qué estoy haciendo? Uh -huh. ¿Cómo, cómo? Describing. Excellent, Isabel. In the next one, yes. Both guys, you are good. Okay, describing. I am a bit cold. Yes. Since we're talking about I am a bit cold, yes. So am I. Empezamos con el so at the beginning. Qué raro son ese doble afirmación. Empezamos at the beginning. I do apologize, guys. Okay, so we'll start from the beginning here. And then we have in the past, I was busy yesterday. Okay. So, empezamos con el so. Aquí. Was, was I. I. Yes. No quiero escuchar que diga. So I was. Lo cual sonaría bonito decirlo. Hasta me confundiera. So I was. But the thing is the order. So was, was I. I. So am I. Okay. Questions? Questions? Teacher, neither. Either, eh, either es tampoco, ¿va? Y neither también es tampoco, o, o yo había leído que neither era como también. No, no el neither, mi neither, el neither is talking about tampoco, ¿ok? A ver, y, igual. Be, neither sí, ambas puede utilizarlo, ¿ok? So, neither am I, a mí tampoco, ¿verdad? Mi neither, yo tampoco. Pokemon's in action. Okay. Ahora, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre estas dos? En me neither, puede hacerlo con una acción. Neither am I. Describe. Uh -huh. A mí tampoco me gusta. Yo tampoco quiero. Yo tampoco quiero comer pupusas. Yo tampoco bailo. Yo tampoco enseño. Okay. So... Are you a teacher? No, I'm not. Neither am I. Do you teach at English Corporativo? No, I don't. Me neither. Yes. And then one is referring more to the action. Uno está refiriendo más a la acción, pero vamos a tomar en cuenta eso. El me neither. Okay, both it is talking about negatives. Me neither, or neither am I. Refiriéndose a negativo, but that one is describing. Se refiere a una descripción. Okay. 
Ya voy a ver eso, tranquilos. Negatives. Now, it says here. ¿Cómo iría en negativo? Negatives. I'm not a teacher. Punto. Neither do I or neither am I. Neither am I. Porque neither am I. A description. Excellent. ¿Y qué más? Neither. It's negative. ¿Qué más? You told me that was description. The verb to be. Excellent. Description and verb to be. I'm not a teacher. I am describing so way. And I'll listen that I am not. Y además que estoy utilizando the verb to be. I'm not a teacher. I won't say neither do I. Que no sé es que. Okay. I am a teacher. But I don't teach math. Pero no enseño matemática. Okay. Neither do I. Ahí se aplica. It's going to see. I am a teacher, but I teach math. Okay. Okay, I am a teacher, but but I don't teach math. But I don't teach math. ¿Cómo sería ahí? But I don't teach math sería neither am I or neither do I. Neither, neither do I. I. ¿Por qué? Por el, por el... Tampoco yo. Auxiliar, el tú, yo. What about this one? Neither I am. Neither am I. Neither am I. Excellent. Very good. I'm not. Okay. But if you want to say, but I don't, but I, but I do. I, I apologize. So, yes. Neither am I or neither do I. ¿Cuál sería de estas dos? Neither, neither am, am I. There you go, excellent. Okay, porque aquí dije, I am not. Neither am I, pero no puedo decir, neither do I. Okay. Yes. Now, I don't want to eat tacos. ¿Qué sería? Neither am I or neither do I. Neither, neither do I. Neither do I. Neither do I. Why? Description. Uh, action. Excellent, very good. Description of an action. Okay. I am not is interested on a soccer game. Not a soccer game. Neither do I or neither I am. Neither, neither do I. I. Neither do I. No, neither am I. <laughs> Excellent. ¿Por qué? Eh, es cero estar es description. Y aquí le dije, I'm not. Excellent. Very good. Ok. Ya se me habían ido por otro lado, pero a ver. It is because it's using the verb to be. Since it's using also the verb to be, it is describing. I am not interested. Ok. Suena bonito decir neither do I, porque vamos a poder decir Neither am I or neither do I. But the thing here is that it's using ambas respuestas están correctas escritamente. But the correct answer for this, la respuesta correcta para esta sería neither am I. Okay? Sería la más correcta, ¿verdad? Yes. Porque estoy utilizando el verb to be. Questions. Preguntas. No teacher. no teacher. Excellent, very good. There you go.
Then we have this one. I don't want to eat tacos. Que es correcto decir, neither am I or neither do I. Neither do I. ¿Por qué? Es eh, la auxiliar do. Excellent, very good. I'm not interested, once again, on the soccer game. Neither do I or neither am I. Neither, neither am I. Neither am I, neither am I. Recuerden eso, suena bien decir neither I am, suena bonito, pero no, tenemos que seguir un orden. There you go. Excellent. Now, recuerden aquí, the thing is that we have the past of the me. I wasn't at the home this morning. Neither was I, porque el neither was. Yes, past, past tense. Past of being, excellent. Very good, very good. I'm sorry, guys. Past of being, didn't tell her so. So it is talking about that. So it says, I was sent home this morning. Neither was sent. No voy a decir, neither do I. Okay. Además de estar hablando en paseja. Para que se pasado. Now. Who asked this only the moment? Pregunta no, this the moment. Not this. Excellent. Very good. Very good. One moment, please. Okay, okay, okay. Am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? Do you have questions? No? No? No, teacher. Okay. Okay. Now, talking about the affirmative and the negatives. Me, I am, I am sleepy. Estoy describiéndome. And it's true. I am sleepy now. So, it says the me too. How do we use the me too? Okay. I am. And then comes a negative. Okay. I am at the restaurant. I am 32 years. I am single. Okay. Someone else could say, yeah, me too. No, I see. Yeah. So do I. I am single, so do I. Does it make sense, right? A mí también. Yo también. Me neither, neither do I. Teacher, y si uno busca la palabra en el traductor eh, so, su, so, so, es así que, pero no se traduce aquí así, ¿cómo es? No le sabría decirlo el traductor, va a disculpar. Sí se lo va a traducir solo la palabra, pero el contexto ah. solo se lo traduce si pone la oración completa, así es Google. Ah, okay. I am single, le puedo decir yo estoy soltera. ¿Cómo sería? Con la otra persona que está conmigo. So do I or so am I? So am I. So am I. Why? ¿Por qué? Por el verbo. The, the describing. Describing and the verb. Uh, well, no es el verbo I, pero le entendí el verb to be. And that is describing. No se preocupe, pero lo entendí. But if, if I'm not, how would how be the answer? Teacher. Lo acaba de decir. No voy a decir. So I'm not. Ah, oh, that's that. Okay. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué ocupamos para los afirmativos? So. so. Excellent. So es un afirmativo. Okay. So it starts. I won't say so me neither. Or so neither do I. It is so. Yes. So do I or so am I. But it's, if it says negative, I'm not single. Okay. 
Aquí como es negativo, I'm not single. Ok. Me neither. Yo tampoco. No pueden hacer esto. So I'm not. Tanto no sí, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok. Me neither. I'm not single. Question? No question, please. And when you say, I love you too, it's okay. Yes. And then the, the, the word too is another, another form. Excellent. ¿Qué significa eso la palabra too? También. ¿Qué significa? A ver, ¿quién se recuerda que les dije una vez? Solo la palabra tú. Bastante. Y eso es positivo y negativo. ¿Quién se recuerda? Demasiado. No es negativo. Negativo. Excellent. Very good. ¿Quién se recuerda por qué era negativo? It's a condition extremely. Extremely condition. O algo que sale fuera de nuestras manos, ¿verdad? Completamente. Ok. Uh, I, had, I had too many cans of soda. Acuérdense de lo que habíamos dicho, percepción de lo que comemos, ¿verdad? Ok. ¿Se recuerdan de la comida también? ¿Qué les dije? I eat too many pupusas. Y Rosa solo comió dos. Y yo me como cinco. Perception. Now, it's going to continue. Then it's, it's incorrect. ¿No? Then it's incorrect to say, I love you too. Yes, it's, a, it's correct. It's correct. Oh, yes. Okay. I love you, I love you too. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> or me too. Okay. Puede ser me too. Oh, me too. Más simple, okay. ¿verdad? Teacher, y si alguien dice yo so, I am single, y, y yo le digo, yo no. ¿Cómo le digo? I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. Es que lo que sucede aquí es, tal cual dijeron anteriormente, previamente, acuerdos y desacuerdos. Yo en lo personal lo considero, mi percepción es que es que más división de imagen, acuerdo y desacuerdo, es más bien concordancia. Yo lo considero así, porque en el video les explica como... Y en, el, en la edición acuerdo y desacuerdo, lo cual está bien dicho, pero yo lo considero como estos concordancia con la otra persona, concordancia con la opinión o el pensamiento o la expresión. Ok. okay. Entonces, por ejemplo, I like tacos. Si yo estoy en desacuerdo con usted, mmm, solo voy a decir, I don't, I don't know why do you like tacos. Pero quiere ser una respuesta corta. Ok, vamos a ver. I don't like tacos. Ok, so ¿cómo diría? Neither I don't do. either. No, neither do I. Okay. I neither do I, yes. I don't I like don't tacos. Need. Neither do I. Ok. Oh, I don't either. And ahora. Neither. Like, ok. I eat pupu. I love pupu. No, I love tacos. Afirmativo, ¿verdad? No tiene lógica de decir... Uh, Quiero ver cómo le decía. Me neither. Simplemente, si a mí no me gustan, o a usted no le gustan los tacos, that's nice, but I don't like tacos. Entonces ahí usted y yo no estamos concordando. ¿Sí? I don't like pizza. Yo estoy expresando una oración negativa, pero usted no está de acuerdo. A usted sí le gusta la pizza. Why don't you like pizza? I love pizza. Por lo tanto, si bien es cierto, esto es un desacuerdo que no le gusta, es algo negativo. I don't like pizza. Yo estoy en desacuerdo con usted, ¿sí? Y no estoy expresando. ¿Por qué no? I like pizza, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero no tiene sentido decir, so do I, or me too, or me neither. Es más que todo un concuerdo de, entre dos personas. ¿Ok? Uy, se nos pasó el tiempo. No questions. <risa> no questions, teacher, hasta el momento. <risa> In the moment. Yes. In the moment. Yes. So, guys, let's see you tomorrow. Look at mañana. Take care.
See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, Good night finally. Thank, thank bye you, bye. teacher. Bye. Bye. Take care, guys. Ah, no fun de listener.